Welcome to Chain Breaker 777 Ministries. It's been a minute, but we're back. But we're back with a short video. Just got five things I want to share with you. Just five. Here we go. But first, I pray that you guys are well. I pray that you guys are fighting through the battle. And I pray that you guys are praising him through your battle, through the darkness, through the storm, just as much as you're praising him when everything is working good and when everything is, is moving like a well-oiled machine. Amen. Five things. These five things I just want to share with you right now, just so uh, if, 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 if you can, if you want to take notes, take notes. But if you can just share these things with somebody or if it ministers to you, then God gets all the praise. Number one, persistence, persistence, whatever it is that you're going through, uh, that's righteous, uh, uh, that's in his will, keep at it and don't give up. And, and, and when you're working in your gift, you got to hit it hard. You know, it's almost that mentality of no days off, but you got to hit it hard, you know, and whatever it is, whatever it is, you, you know, you're going to go through it. You got to know that you're going to go through that thing, right? You're going to see it through or God is going to move you to the next thing, but you have to hit it hard and you don't give up, right? Amen. Number two, productivity, productivity. You know, you have to be productive, right? You have to be productive. There should be something that you're accomplishing every day toward whatever it is that you're working in, right? You know, uh, 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 if there is something new you have to learn, then learn it that day. If there is something that you have to have completed or done, then make a move to get it done that day, right? You know, and, 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 and these are things that whatever's in your, whatever you're doing, whatever, whatever you're trying to accomplish, right? Without persistency, then the ball doesn't move. The ball doesn't roll. You know, without persistency in your steps, you can't put one foot in front of the other, right? Amen. The third one is perseverance. Perseverance. You know, there, there will be good days and there will be bad days, of course. And we've all heard that before. But the question is, is what do you do in those moments? What do you do when it's tough? What do you do when it's dark? What do you do when there's an obstacle? What do you do when you when you hear the word no? What do you do when, when, when you thought it was going to go this way, but it went that way? What do you do? You know, some people freak out. Some people spaz out. Some people go into a turtle shell. Some people isolate. Some people blame. Some people uh, 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 deflect. And some people reflect. And some folks accept fatalism. You know, that thing where people say, it is what it is, right? But that's not what we're doing. You know, I was told by my God, which is your God, that I'm more than a conqueror. So we must persevere even if it doesn't look good. Even if it's, if it's, if it's kind of rocky, right? Even if people don't see what you do. Even if they don't know you, persevere through the envy, through the jealousy, persevere through the doctor telling you that, oh, you, you know, it, it, you have this or we got to do this. And it's bad news to you. Persevere. You may have to go through that thing for something to come out on the other end. Right. Through persevere through the social and political drama that we all see and that we all live through. You must persevere. Fourth, patience. Gotta have patience. Woo, and that's a tough one, right? That's a tough one. But but check it out. You must have patience. You have to have patience, right? Be, through this whole thing that we call life, right? Because if you are not ready to, to receive, if you're not in a position to receive the impartation, the, 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 the things that God has waiting on you that he wants to give you, he wants to impart on you. If you're not ready to receive that impartation, then it won't be given to you until God sees that you're ready to receive it. Man, I know I probably messed up somebody's prayer, but listen, you receive when God feels you're ready, 
Amen. But however, we must remember this. We didn't create time. We didn't create time. We didn't. So you can't move it faster or slow it down. You got to operate with the time that's given. And if it's for you to be patient, to wait, and while you're waiting on him, you're doing the things, you're being persistent, you're, 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 you're trying to apply the things that you are trying to apply within whatever gift you're working in or whatever you're working toward, right? When you're applying that patience, now, as you're working, now you can position yourself in a, how should I say, you can have yourself in a better position to be able to receive what he has waiting on you. Sometimes we ask for things and we're not ready to receive them. We just want them because it's in our it's in our heads. It's in our hearts. That doesn't mean that it's supposed to be in your life. And then we do have things that are in our heads and in our hearts that he wants to have us. You know, he, he wants to, you know, he wants to bless us with. But we have work to do on our end. Are we doing that work or are we just asking? It's kind of like if we're praying and we're, you know, we're asking for him to cover us and protect us and thank you for this and thank you. But we never say, I'm not saying everybody, but we never say sometimes, you know, what you're willing to stop doing to get closer to him, what you're willing to pick up and do for him, what you're willing to sacrifice for him. Remember, he sacrificed for you and me. Right? So we didn't create time. So we, 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 we have to be patient and we have to wait on the Lord, but we have to be doing our job. Right? Now, prosperity. Right? Prosperity. So if we are persistent, okay, in what we are called to do and we're productive in our everyday life being kingdom minded, then we are or we become stronger in the spirit, the spirit of truth, which is the Lord, the Holy Spirit. Uh, he will help us. Right. He'll help us and we will be able to persevere when things are rough, when the times get dark, when there's no money, when there's no rest, when there's more oppression, when there's more bills. When there's no raise at the job, when there's no appreciation for what you feel you should be appreciated for, right? When 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 uh, 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 um, when things aren't just going your way, right? You 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 know. For, for us, let me put it this way. For us, there are things that he wants to us to have, and it's, there's ways that he wants each one of us to live, and he tells us in his word. He doesn't, you know. It, it's not that, oh, he wants me to be broke. Some people, you know, they're in that, they're in that lane, right? But you but they're rich in spirit. How many people do we know with a, a million billion dollars, but they have no relationship with Christ? How many people that we, do we know that have so much of the material things, but they're lonely, right? So, you know, Let's keep this in mind. For me, I want the prosperity in my life that he wants me to have. That's just me. Right? Paul said he learned he, he had to learn to be content when he when he had a lot, and he had to learn to be content when he had a little. Right? It kind of goes back to praise, you know, praise. Praise them when you when, when everything is going good. But check it out. Praise them when everything's going bad. Mm. Mm. <laughs> amen. Amen. So in, in closing, I know and I want you to know that we serve a just God. We serve a righteous God. We serve a jealous God. Come on now. You know, we serve a God who backs up his word. So what do we have to do? We have to wait on him. We must be patient. And then we can truly appreciate the prosperity that he wants in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise his name. This is Chain Breaker 777 Ministries. Just wanted to stop by and have a quick little, little chat there. Uh, blessings towards your evening or towards your morning. We will be back on. Hit a like or subscribe and 
We'll see you soon. Peace.